So the psych is this. You can all these different groups come up with uh these solutions, but they usually come up, you know, after 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 the problem after after the problem has been created, they come up with a group. And they go around preaching the same thing. This group is wrong, I'm right. Then they start getting members. The members start paying into the into the leadership. The leadership start paying off, you know, the white man. Cause you gotta you gotta buy groceries. You gotta buy you gotta have a, a you gotta pay the light company and the gas company. You gotta have heat in the winter. You gotta drive, you gotta have some kind of transportation. You gotta buy gas, you know, it's all going back to the white man. So how's you solving the problem? They don't care if you come up talk, be talking all that stuff. Now Elijah Muhammad, this thing was different. Marcus Garvey thing, they, they was different. But Elijah, uh, soon as he uh, left, you know, everything that he built up is gone. But here in Detroit, he had whole blocks of Muslims. They had stores, clothing stores, bookstores. Oh man, they had they had schools, and they was trying to keep it in a in that community around Linwood. They had apartment buildings. They bought up apartment buildings. You know. And then when Wallace came, he uh, sold all of it and got down with the Arabs. You see? Because if Elijah, if they would have kept up with the program that Elijah was, was developing, because he wanted to build a black hospital. That was on the books. That was on the board when... Uh, when he passed away. But didn't nobody keep that up. See? So these preachers and these uh, ministers, they're the ones that's keeping the white man going and themselves going. And you got hope in a person instead of hope in yourself. Can't no one man do it all. I don't care how good he preach. And how good he teach. You still can't, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't know how to, how to use it, you ain't got wisdom. You know, you got to be independent. And that's what Elijah was teaching. That's what Garvey was teaching. You know, be, be self-sufficient. And you got to have uh, morals because without morals you're not going to trust nobody you're not going to uh, uh, it's going to come to an end I was looking at a, a movie Jane Caddy was a gangster and he went to this sanctuary uh, where these these monks was, and I was just looking at how these monks was doing. They were self-sufficient. They had a garden, and they would go to town every now and then and get what they didn't have. But they would trade. They would sell flowers uh, in the community, you know, to get up to raise up enough money to keep them going. So. But they didn't go around preaching. Uh, like that, you know, and the black man, he raised up money in his church to keep the preacher going, and his family, and all his friends, and the neighborhood is impoverished, no black stores, so they're giving that money, the money's going out, 
So you're not, you're not helping, you're not helping God. God don't need no help. You're helping the white man. You know, same as these guys talking that black power stuff. We're going to, we're going to, you know, we're going to need that gun. We're going to have to start shooting up. Man, I don't believe them. Because you're going to, you're going to start buying guns and the FBI going to be on you. You know, because they make the guns. They tag the guns, make sure that they uh, know who got them and what, you know, they, you're dealing with a, a war machine. You know, they done made a science out of war, see. And we done went to turn sex crazy. Only thing we want is some sex. That's the only thing we good for. Sex is only supposed to be for procreation, that's all. Not no uh, pastime, sport, or event, or nothing like that. So, if, if y'all don't get it together, if we don't get it together, you know, it's gonna be, it might be too late, but I can tell you this, it's gonna get harder and harder to come up out of this. The only way we're going to come up out of it is we got to start with righteousness. Treating ourselves right. Once we treat ourselves right, you know, quit lying to yourself. Quit lying to other people. Quit getting high. You don't need to get high. I don't even care if we come up out the earth or whatever. You don't need that. You can expand your consciousness without that. And I know for a fact that's the truth. You know, uh, you need to quit being so horny all the time, you know, because the, the energy that you use for sexing, you could use to create things with. So this is Black Light. I'm going to close this session down. And, uh. I see you on another day. Just remember what I said. Righteousness is a power force. And just try it. You might like it. Peace.